Hello and welcome to another vlog. Yes, it's January and yes, I'm still wearing my Christmas dressing gown. Alright, just roll the slow-mo shots of me doing trampoline. track today instead of the floor. The reason I'm going tumble track is because my back is a little bit sore from yesterday so I just want to take care of that and track is a little bit softer than the actual floor so it makes sense to preserve my muscles a bit. Throughout these videos you will hear me mentioning these little injuries that I have a lot but don't be worried this is a completely normal thing for gymnasts. Unfortunately it is a sport that pushes the human body to the absolute limits and that comes with some little injuries. But this is part of the sport and trying to figure out different ways around these injuries is part of any sport really. So this is what is under a tumble track. A couple of foam mats and also just like plastic with I don't know what that material is, just like connected by some material. It just makes it all a little bit more soft, whereas the floor has a little bit less give to it. The floor has this little bit of extra layer of wood under it, which makes it quicker reacting, but a little bit harder. But then the springs also help with that. And then there's a thick layer of foam also on top of this. And to me, it is a really different feel. That's why I tend not to do too much tumble track, but because my back is a little bit sore today, I thought, you know what, I may as well give tumble track a go and just keep ticking over my tumbles while also preserving my back. people asking me what kind of food I eat when I'm training and I just kind of have these little ready meals for my lunch mostly they're nice healthy quick meals to have and of course they're only healthy depending on what ones you get a microwavable rustlers burger is not a healthy ready meal and for snackages I mostly just stick with a cup of tea and some yogurt and granola hey What's one thing you're really looking forward to <laughs> in the year of 2020? One thing I'm really looking forward to? Yeah. Just trying to strengthen the mind, to prepare for life, to help others. Nice. Because if you can't help yourself, how can you help others? If you don't know who you are, how can your dreams come true? Good one. <laughs> <laughs> Race doing high bar? Well, not actually all that bad at high bar. But I won't be competing high bar in this Olympic cycle. I'm just not up to standard with the rest of the world, to be completely honest. And we want to be going to as many competitions as possible and getting as many medals as possible. And if high bar adds any unnecessary risk to my other apparatus that I do have medal hoops on, then there's not really much point in doing it. I just done a little bit of high bar to warm up my shoulders and my back and also my wrists really today. to work on my skills for my routine on pommel horse again and it's very exciting there's a new routine coming your way and you'll see it at the next competition Woo! before i do flare work and 
particular on pommel, I like to warm up my legs, get my legs nice and flexible because it's not just an upper body exercise. When you start to do those flares, your legs need to be prepared as well. Just on a little evening run. I hate running so much. The reason I'm doing these runs is just to kind of keep up my fitness for mainly floor but also just my general fitness. With competition season on the horizon I do want to keep on top of my fitness especially for floor because I haven't competed it since 2018. Floor requires a different kind of endurance compared to pommel horse where it's mostly muscular endurance feeling it in your triceps and arms. Floor requires a little bit more cardiovascular endurance and that's what these runs offer. On top of the work inside the gym I've been putting in the work outside of the gym also to create content for you guys to enjoy especially over on the Patreon where I'll be uploading regular podcasts from now on. So click on that link in the description if you want to become a Patreon supporter. Also, remember a while back I said that I was working on a video summarizing my first Olympic cycle. I am making some good progress in that video and I'm excited to share it with you guys soon. It'll probably come out in a couple of weeks time I'd say. Lots of never seen before footage of my last four years in this sport, well actually five years really. That was a long Olympic cycle and I will be bringing it to you guys to enjoy. I do hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope everyone's had a great week. Make sure to leave a like and leave a comment to let me know what you think of this video because I love your guys feedback. Anywho, stay positive, keep smiling and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out guys.